Today we're going to talk about present tense. So when do we use present tense? We use it in various locations to show the relationship between times or the writer and the reader. One of the things that we use present tense to show is facts, something that is always true. And then it's habits, something that happens repeatedly. And something that's scheduled in the future, uh, like you know that you're going to do it this evening and you are certain that it's going to be done. To engage reader or listeners while reading a story or so writing a story. Um, so it makes people feel the, um, closer to the stories by using present tense. As today we're going to focus on facts and habits. So what are facts? Facts are something that happens all the time. You know it's for sure, it can't be wrong. It is always right. For example, the sun rises from the east. Um, you, you, you'll never see the sun rises anywhere else apart from the east. A lot of people wear a jacket in winter. It's a general fact. Like, you know that people will wear jacket in winter. Uh, it is a black cat. You know that it, nothing can change the fact that it's a, it's a cat. It won't suddenly change into a dog. So, uh, this are facts. What about habits? It's true for a very long period of time because it is something that you do or somebody does all the time. The first one is not a habit, I like dogs, it's just a general personal fact. But the second one, you go to school by bus every morning, it's not something that you would change because it's not like you are changing uh, your home or changing a place to live every day and you're changing uh, the way you go to school every day. When you see the word every in a sentence, it means that this is something that will happen repeatedly. Like we always run. When you see always, that means this is again something that happens repeatedly. Uh, they sit on the bench sometimes. Sometimes it is another time indication. He usually wears a coat in winter. Usually again is a word that shows you is not a one-off case. She goes swimming every day. Again, every. So it's things like every day, every week, every month, every Monday, every year even. Or even every 10 years. It shows that it's going to happen repeatedly. And this is a habit and you will use present tense. So speaking of how do we use present tense, we need to first find out the verb. So let's see, for the first sentence, like is the verb. The second, you go to school by bus every month, every morning. Go is the verb. We always run. Run is the verb. They sit on the bench sometimes. Sit is the verb. He usually wears a coat in winter. Wears is the verb. She goes swimming every day. Goes is the verb. It is a black cat. Is is the verb. So the verb is the action word as I have always tell you. This is always where we show the tenses. As you can see for I, you, we, they, we have nothing added to the verb, so the verb stays how it used to be. From like, it stays as like. From go, it stays as go. From run, it stays as run. From sit, it stays as sit. But when it comes to he, she, or it, where is singular, third person singular, um, we add S or ES as at the end of the verb. You may say, oh, Miss Chow here. The word is is not 
at it's not I with the S at the end. No, we'll talk about that irregular when we have time. But today I'd like to talk about what we need to do when we see this third person singular and what we do to the verbs. So the rule is easy. What you need to do is add an S at the end of the verb for most cases. So from what right to right, want to wants, work to works, like to likes, come to comes, eat to eats, put to puts, walk to walks, tell to tells, kick to kicks, see to sees, learn to learns, joke to jokes. A uh, joke can be a noun, it can be a word, like I joke about something, means that you are saying something not serious and make it funny. So I joke about having a shower in the swimming pool. It, is, it doesn't mean that I am going to have a shower or have a bath in the swimming pool. I'm just saying it so that people would laugh about it. Look to looks, no to knows, use to uses, move to moves, quit to quits. Quit is like stop doing it, saying bye-bye. Give to gifts. So this is what we call the regular form. We just add an S at the end of the action word, the verb. Now, there are cases that it's not so regular. We add ESs after the verb. So here we have the verb plus es at the end and as you can see you have the endings in groups so when you see these endings it's very likely that they are going to end with es so end with o's uh, where ends with s h c h double s or x so here we change from do to does, go to goes, echo to echoes, push to pushes, wash to washes, wish to wishes, brush to brushes, flush to flushes, like flush the toilet every time you use it, finish to finishes, punish to punishes. Catch to catches, pinch to pinches, pinch like use your fingers to take a small piece of your face and pinch it. It's not very pleasant, is it? Teach to teaches, touch to touches, watch to watches, switch to switches, and now ends with double S. Kiss to kisses, miss to misses, pass to passes, dress to dresses, guess to guesses, now ends with X, fix to fixes, relax to relaxes. Now here comes our last cases today, is when we end with Y, there are cases that we will throw this Y to rubbish bin, remember this rubbish bin, and then add IES. So, for this, cry, throw away the Y in the rubbish bin, and add IES, cries. Fly, throw away the Y, and add IES. Fry, like you're frying an egg, a cooking method. Take away the Y and add IES. 
tries. You know, I always ask you to try your best. Take away the Y and then I E S. Copy. Take away the Y and then I E S. Copies. Tidy. Take away the Y and then I E S. Tidies. Carry. Take away the Y and then I E S. Carries. Reply. Take away the Y and then I E S. Replies. Studies. Take away the Y and then I E S. Yes. But there are also cases that we don't follow this rule. We just simply add S at the end. For example, by. Leave the Y here. It goes together. Buys. Pay. Pays. Say. Says. Play. Place. So you need to know there are some special cases. So here, these cases, they are special. You only need to remember them. These are the ones that we usually see. We don't take away the Y and add I E S. Just remember a few of them, and for the rest, just use this rule: take away the Y and add I E S. Before the end of the lesson, I have something extra to talk to you about. It's not just about present tense, but it's kind of something about. Not using the present continuous tense as well.、Uh, remember when we are talking about something that happens continuously, and you can see the end of it. Like I am running, I won't run forever. When I am running, I'm doing it now, this at this moment. But there is an end that I can see. So I、uh, this is when we use present continuous tense. We have The subjects, and then we add is m r with the action word plus i n g form. For example, we can say I am running, just like what I just said. I am running means I am doing it now. You can see that I am doing the action at the moment. And also, you can use present tense to express、uh, your feeling towards running. Like, I love running. So, for this sentence, the verb is no longer run, but this one. I'm running. The verb is run. For this sentence, love is the verb. Can I have this sentence and change it into present continuous tense? Like, can I say, I am loving running. I can't say it's grammatically wrong, so I wouldn't say no, you're wrong. But it just doesn't make sense because. When you say "I am loving," it means that you are loving it now, and you can see the end of it. But with a feeling, with an emotion that's strong, as strong as love. Like when you talk about love, it's about、uh, your mother, your father loves you a lot. This is why they sent you to school. This is why they. Uh, take care of you. This is why they spend so much, invest so much time and money on you. This is a very strong feeling that requires a lot of effort. And you won't just say, "My mom and dad is loving me," because they're going to stop loving me in any minute. And I can see it. I know it will happen. This just doesn't make sense when you love something. When you love someone, it. Shouldn't be something that stop at any man at any second. So when you see this, this is a big no no. Do not use love in present continuous tense or any strong emotions, any strong feeling. So、uh, when you say 
a McDonald's ad saying I I'm loving it. It is actually really weird because you are just loving it at this moment. When you finish, you don't love it anymore. This is the end of today's lesson. Bye bye.